Hello lovely people of the internet and welcome to the Telltale Club and our lovely new little shop. I'm just doing this podcast as an introduction to the shop and to explain what the art flags are. So we've decided to stock one product and one product only at the Telltale Club because we're musicians really. But we also make movies and we thought it'd be really cool to use some of the artwork from the movies where animators in an art form that was robust and unpretentious and we've decided on flags because they're so big and exciting and fabulous and you can colour them in really really easily. Now what we're doing is we're doing line drawings and you can basically use any colouring that you want. If you use a washable felted pen or something similar that washes out, a poster paint like the stuff you get at school, you'll be able to recycle the flags. This is so exciting for us because we really believe in recycling and we try and make things last as long as possible here at the Tale Teller Club. Now what you'll be able to do is say your eight-year-old wants one or, or your 20-year-old or your 40-year-old very therapeutic this um you know this coloring in action is very you you can lose yourself in the action of it it's really exciting but, but you'll be able to complete the flag which would be no mean feat we were quite big and then you'll be able to sling it in the washing machine and start again or hand it on to somebody else pass it down the ranks of the family this is really exciting isn't it the prospects for this now alternatively what about if you wanted something permanent we wanted to frame it. Well, you could use fabric pens, professional fabric. Well, not professional, but you can get fabric pens that never wash out. They're really, really good. But you could also use metallic paints. This is something I've done with some of our black flags. So we'll be selling those. They'll be up shortly. And you can use metallic acrylic inks on uh, pens on those, and they're really super. You can even, if you wanted to, use a hand... Um, applied paint that's, um, you know, wet, so something like acrylics. You could even feasibly use oils. We're getting into tricky ground when you use things like that, but it depends. If you mount your flag on a frame ready, you could use oils as well, and they wouldn't crack. So, you know, there's lots and lots of possibilities here, but I would recommend using fabric paints personally. So I'm going to be filming lots of me doing them um, as soon as we're up and running. We've just got, I've got to do the design that I want to do. It's a lot, a lot of work. I'm also going to give some away if, um, you know, if you really enjoy colouring in. Basically, you'd have to buy the first one. But if you colour it in and film it for me, I will give you a refund. So you get the money back. How, how exciting is that? I think that's pretty cool. Um. So they're going for um, forty pounds at the moment, and I think we can. That's doable. For every, it's free post, and that's anywhere in the world. So that's a big ask, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Um, and also, there's an awful lot of work that goes into each design. I'm not including in that any felt tips or colouring in because there's, the possibilities are so diverse that I just I'm not sure that we can manage that. But what I am going to do is on each flag description, I'm going to give you a recommended link where you can go and buy the pens that I recommend. OK, so that's just as good, I think. But what you'd have to remember is if you were buying one as a gift, you would need to order your pens separately. OK, um, these come direct from my printers to your home. So they cut out me, the middleman. If you want me to sign one, which is a possibility because the original artwork is my own, I sell land, we can arrange that. It may just add a, f a week or so onto your delivery time, but all of that would also be free of charge. But what I'd like you to do is sign your own name on it, because when you've done all the colouring in, really, you know, it's your work. It's, we could call it a collaboration, could we not? So there we go, guys. That's the Tale Teller Club um, introduction to our art flags shop. It's called I Serverland Dreams. Um, the new recycl recyclable art. Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? And I really, really do hope you like them. And you can go over to tailtellerclub.com or iserverland.com and actually all over the place. We're like a rash spreading the word of the, the gospel of the flag. Um, around so that we're all ready for Christmas. 
I seem to be the only person that's mentioning Christmas. I know it's only June, but you know, you have to think ahead. So the ones we've got at the moment are truly, truly beautiful. And I really do hope you like them, but there's going to be a few more this week. There will only ever be 10 in the um, each issue. They will be limited editions and there'll be a churn. They call it a churn. So you, if you have a design that you really, really like, you should probably buy it while it's there. Guys, it was a pleasure to talk. Please pop along to the website. You can contact me. There's a contact page. Um, you can contact me on my social media, etc, etc. And of course, on my YouTube. Much love.